I was watching a lot of The West Wing, and I was thinking a lot about politics and uh, and and people who are publicly political. And we've always said that we we are very political people, but we're uh, we're a pop band. You know, we don't we don't want to preach. Um, unless we really feel like the message that we want to deliver is important. And, uh, and there have been a few times in the last few years where I've certainly felt like it was important to go on record. Um, we have a big enough audience now that some of the issues that I care most about, um, even though they don't necessarily have much to do with our band, as a, as a public person who has um, an audience, I, I felt like it was important to speak out. But that got me thinking a lot about when I was younger and who were the role models that I looked up to and certainly in the mid to late 90s, there were only a few people who I really felt represented both culturally and, and, and I don't know, like spiritually, <laughs> how I felt. You know, some of it was based on politics, some of it was based on sexuality and my identity and how I felt about um, my life moving forward. And I, I wrote, that, wrote the, a lot of the song about thinking back on being a teenager and not really being able to imagine what my future was going to look like because all the people who were sort of um, popular cultural figures at the time, um, I, I couldn't I couldn't identify with with their lives or what they what they were saying. So I was trying to write a song from that perspective. So the song is not about making out. It is not. It's not a flirtatious skip teenage uh, casual driving in the car with your hair blowing back. How did it get on the record? Mm -hmm.